right, let's move on, man. Uh, so this is something I want to talk about. Now, I'm in my own space. I don't really know a lot of content creators besides the ones I watch. Um, then there might be a few who I watch here and there, but I don't really know their name sometimes, and that's just what it is. That's just what it is. But um, uh, 25 most influential creators of 2024 from and one thing I want I want I want people to understand is I I want to have a lot coming from YouTube, but I don't want to be like super duper YouTube famous. I want people all in my business like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's a limit to what I want. I'm cool playing the background, but making the, the cash. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm interested in, bro. For real, for real. Like, y'all, if you, if you understand it, you understand. If you don't, you don't. Uh, from TikTok mainstays and Instagram stars to streaming heavyweights and YouTube legend, here the list. Here's this year's list. I need glasses. My girlfriend told me that. I need glasses. Mm, come up here acting like I can't read, boy. When I was, psh, boy, I was in the, oh, what you call it, boy, for readers. I was ahead of everybody in my class. Here's this year's biggest players. All right. When we decided that our second annual most influential creators list would be ranked, we had to grapple with a highly subjective um, question. I mean, it is subjective, though. What does it mean to have influence? It's not just about who's getting sponsorships. It's about having people look up to you. I need some sponsorships, too. Follow and not, not you send me some for free and you want me to review it. A sponsorship. You pay me to talk about this shit, nigga. <laughs> I need one of those. I ain't never had one. Follow and comment on your posts. Engage with and share your content. Truly care what you have to say for better or for worse to pick. Our list, the Rolling Stones staff debated as creators across the spectrum from fashion to comedy, food, and travel to nominate their favorites and review data from Creator IQ and Enterprise Influencer Market platform that tracks the hard numbers. After going through more than 500 individual nominees, evaluating them based on engagement rate, growth, peer interaction, this is a, that is a, this, this is a, this is a hard list to do because there are a lot of content creators. Uh, especially if you're going to say all of these from TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, why don't you, why don't you bust this down and create a little more buzz and a little more content? Do TikTok famous, do Instagram famous, and who really cares about Instagram famous like that at, at this point in time? TikTok and YouTube, like make them all different. Don't group them all together. Because a lot of times, most of these people are on YouTube and then they send their YouTube videos and stuff out to like a TikTok and Instagram. Like, you know what I'm saying? They double dip. Like, so I would say find people who are specifically TikTokers or Instagram people or YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I would do it if it was me. And I own good feeling. All right, my bad. Evaluating them based on gaming rate. Growth, peer interaction, follower count, and our own gut feelings about each one. We present 2024's most influential creators. Yeah, our creators' primary page numbers are for those accounts, not the community follow. Okay. 25, Wendy Guevara. I don't know who that is. Platform TikTok. TikTok people have. TikTok be having people with 20 million followers, and I ain't never heard that. Hey. <laughs> Oh God, bro! Like somebody I was watching today, I did, They had like, they had like forty of like close. No, they was like 40, 50 mil, and somebody else was close to like almost a hundred. And I'm like, I ain't never seen you ever. But you know that it what it is, bro. I mean, that's just what it is. Like, there's no way you can watch every type of content, bro. So she a Mexican star, Wendy girl. Okay, I don't know who this is, but um. TikTok platform follow 4.6 million 25. She the 25. I don't know who that is, so I guess. Now, May Nyondo. She got to be African or something. Uh, TikTok 2.4 million. 
Hold on. Oh, how she? So how are they ranking them? And she got does she have four point six million? But she doesn't get a lot of engagement because she only has two point four million. She must get more engagement there. <laughs> Software developer content creator as use her platform to talk about politics, entertainment, technology, fashion, and related really funny quit. Okay, whatever. Uh, Mandy Lee, bruh, I don't know who the f bruh. I don't know who that is, but she got five hundred thousand followers. Come on, fam. I know y'all know somebody. More people on TikTok who got more. Like I said, it may be she got that many subscribers. But she's getting more engagement because I don't, I don't, how are they ranking this shit again? Based on engagement, peer interaction, follow account, and our own good feel. Man, they might have used their good feeling on this. I, or maybe, I don't know, but I guess. But let's go, let's go. I don't know who that is. Reese Fit, Filming, TikTok. All these people on TikTok. I have no idea who y'all are. Aaliyah interlude, Aaliyah's interlude, bitch, you know I'm sex, uh, don't call me, just text with those of them were Atlanta creator and rapper, oh, okay, she's a rapper, okay, 20, Monet Michaels, TikTok, 3.8 million, I'm assuming as you get higher on this list, you might just have Way more fan engagement or something like that. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going to assume. Nineteen RCDC world. Oh, of course. Mm, so I, I don't know, man. Um, I, I I usually watch them on YouTube. I don't watch them on TikTok. I'm not exactly sure the numbers they do on TikTok. I haven't looked at a. I don't think I've ever looked at any of their stuff on TikTok. But YouTube wise, you know, I know what they. You know what I'm saying. Oh no, it's a platform, YouTube. I'm tripping. Sell me. Mmm. Okay, so it seems we're getting into uh so the most people who were lower numbers on TikTok, which is understandable. Which is very understandable. That's super understandable. So now you're starting to get into the YouTube world and people are being higher. A lot of people be posting on TikTok. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm about to start posting on TikTok too. Like, like you see the content I'm doing right now where I'm doing this gaming review stuff and um all this news. I'm gonna start busting it down and start posting it on TikTok and stuff too. But uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe they should be higher. I don't know. We'll start once we go down the list. We'll see. Uh, Tony Bravo TikTok. Don't know you. Omar Hirsch. I. Instagram. I don't know nobody on Instagram. When it comes to Instagram, if you're on Instagram, I don't watch any content on Instagram whatsoever. I don't follow nobody. Matter of fact, let me look at my Instagram <laughs> real quick. Uh, people, I got like, I got like 700 followers on Instagram. I'm following one person, but I don't know. I don't be on Instagram like that. I don't know. It would do. Wisdom K TikTok, Nigerian American fashion creator. I'm so lost, bro. <laughs> I'm so lost. I don't know none of these people, bro. I don't. Hussein Piker. I'm. Mm, I have nothing to contribute to this. I shouldn't even talk about this. Jake Shane TikTok. Don't know. Drewski, Instagram, but I be seeing Drewski stuff on like YouTube or like, I don't know, YouTube, where I see Drewski at, bro, so why didn't they see Instagram, I guess, not long after the, Drew, okay, Drewski to him, I began posting comedy sketch, he opened for Jack Hollow and appeared in music videos, like Drake, Laugh, Not Cry, like, but it was his Instagram sketches series. Instagram sketch series could have been. I be saying this could have been records on YouTube where he played a label head searching for the next biggest star, drawing musicians like Chance the Rapper and Ice Spice that blew him up. This fall, he's launching Coulda Coulda Fest in Atlanta where he will co-host comedians and rappers alongside DJ Fresh. Okay, okay, 
what's up though? Um, I watch Drewski. I don't, I don't dislike him, but like I don't type in Drewski when I'm looking for content to watch. But when I do pop up, some of his stuff is funny. But then also, I'm not exactly sure. There's another fat light skin dude that they say he was stealing content from. So I'm not exactly sure. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Instagram just not the same. IG baddies took it over. I can see, I can't see shit but ass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if you get on Instagram, bro, there's nothing there. But as soon as you look at your feed thing, you just see women. I don't see nothing on my Instagram worth like me being on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't interested in you thirst traps or you chicks talking about some trying to get you know trying to finesse some money. Plastic Tierra TikTok. I'm a content creator before. Oh, that's a drag queen. Definitely wouldn't know who he is. Anthony Fantano. Uh, I watch a lot of Anthony Fantano. I'm not keen on his. Um. Okay, he's a white guy reviewing black music sometimes. A lot of black music. How I feel about him is, because he gave, I think he gave Sexy Red album a really high score. I can't remember um, what he gave her, but he gave her a really high score. Uh, he gave her a really high score. I don't know if that's how you do it or not. Was it this one? He gave it a strong eight. Let me look at this real quick. I just slept eight hours. I gotta face eight hours. hours. Y'all gonna you watch this ad, nigga. Amy slept. Yeah. Hi everyone. Wolf the name. What he gave her? A decent two strong eight. So um, he gave her eight. There are. He gave her a strong eight. There are rap that shit is ass. There are rappers who can rap their ass off and make clear, cohesive music and actually be talking about something. And he gave Sex Red an eight. So he's a white guy in the space of hip hop. And I and and from from me watching that, I've I've I i do not really watch Fantano anymore after seeing that. And I was like, oh, okay, so conscious rap, you can get out of six, seven when they're trying to uplift our community. But anything that's destroying it, that's hurting our women, black women, you fine with it. You cool with it. Like anything destructive already, most of it, the rap music is destructive to the community. I was like, oh, okay. So you cool with that. And then like I just couldn't, I couldn't. Rock with nothing after that. What he, what he be talking about? It's like, man, this man, this man, nah, he a Vlad TV guy type of type of type of dude. Lyrics not popular with this generation. He's gonna try to fit the narrative. All you need is a bite. That's exactly pro that's pretty much what he did. Cause like you see how he said the sex of red controversy. He he knew what he knew what he was doing, bro. And yeah, he knew he man. I don't know, man. Ah. Uh, for him doing that, I don't know, man. He got to be lower on the list, not higher. I'm just not with it. Devon, Theo Vaughn. Okay, I watched some of Theo Vaughn. I like him, bro. He's funny. Um, He's funny. He's funny. I like Theo Vaughn. When I do, I don't, like I said, he ain't one of them people that I search up, but he's one of them people that, like, say, for instance, like, one of the shorts come up or, like, a part of his little comedy special comes up on on Instagram or some shit. Not well not Instagram, but like on YouTube. I will watch it and whatnot. And I, I think he's funny. I think he's funny. Cause like he was doing that joke about the black people and white people. I think it was it was him. They living in the trailer park and he said the black kids are like, man, your people are doing he's like, man, I'm here with y'all type shit. I was like, that shit had me and I'm trying to we try, what well, he said, we you gonna share this peach? I was like, Yeah, that's kinda how it is. That's funny. <laughs> I hate the destruction of music people be making these days, tearing each other apart. Man, I can't even like people be like, like my son, he you know he he's eleven, and um, I let him listen to what he wants to listen to him listen to, but I teach him that it's 
entertainment and just be conscious of what you're listening to. Like, I don't tell people not to listen to anything, but I tell you to be conscious of what you're listening to. Like, if you know this puts you in the wrong mood, stop listening to it. And most rap is just like that today. Like, I can't listen to rap too much. Like, I, or if I'm listening to rap, I'm listening to some old ass shit, some 90s, early 2000s stuff. I, all the rappers who are coming out now, if, if even if they don't sound the same, the topics are all the same. It's all the same. Theo Cool, if you can tell, he be himself. I watch, I watch the sick. Yeah, he be chilling, man. I like Theo. I like Theo. All right, man. But yeah, Theo number ten. Mm, okay, yeah. We got Drewski at. I don't lie. I don't, I, like I said, I don't, I watch Drewski, but no shade. We ain't going to do that. All right, yeah, I'll mess with them. Keith Lee. <laughs> okay, so I'm a Keith Lee stan. I don't know if y'all know. Protect Keith Lee at all times. I love Keith Lee. Now, what happened at the BT Awards was kind of, eh, I get what was going on. People made mistakes, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he addressed it. I get it. I would have just not said nothing. I would just let it be like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. I'm here. I want to mention it. I want to talk about it. I would have just went and did my regular content that I was doing. But, you know, hey, if you feel salty, you feel a little salty. It is what it is. We ain't going to worry about that. But I am a Keith Lee stan. You are not going to uh, bad mouth Keith Lee in front of me. I do not care. I'm going to tell you to eat a dick. Keith Lee is my guy. So, yeah, and I watch, and I will literally bend, like, if I miss his videos, I will bend watch, bend, uh, I will binge watch all of his videos until I am caught up and have not seen anything new. <laughs> That's how much I I, I do, yeah. I, I, and when he, when he went to Atlanta. That's why I stick with, oh, shit, I was bumping, what would you do this morning for show? Sure. When Keith Lee went to, when he went to Atlanta, I, bruh, let me tell y'all something, bruh. I hope my mic don't cut off. I need to get a boom. I had to pick this up with my hand. Y'all say I need to get a boom. Hey, man. Send me something so I can get a boom. Anyway, <laughs> when he went to Atlanta, I knew what was going on. Everybody in Atlanta it's like a mini L.A. Hollywood type thing. Like, everybody thinks they somebody down there, and they're not. I hate that state. I lived there for, what, a bit of four years. I don't want him to go back. I don't even want y'all to be redeemed because we see how y'all are the first time. If I go to Atlanta for anything, it bet, I, I hope it's something to do with, with me blowing up on YouTube or something gaming. But other than that, I don't even care to visit that state again. I don't like Monroe. I don't like Loganville. I don't like Douglasville. I don't like McDonough. I don't like Villa Rica. Uh, I don't like Alpharetta. I don't like nowhere around Georgia. I lived I lived around Georgia and in Atlanta. I'll never go back unless it's about some business or some money. Other than that, I will never just visit that place again. What y'all did to Keith Lee was y'all was wrong. But I lived there, so I already knew how it went down. I already knew. I already knew. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah, TikTok's prominent food critic Keith Lee has boosted business and spurred crowds of followers to visit places he recommends. Largely focus on Black on business, the former MMA fighter, 27, is nothing if not modest. I'm not famous, I'm just popular, he told Rolling Stone earlier this year, but his content shows just how much impact social media can have on the corporal world. Yeah, The way customers flow in after his recommendations is dubbed the Keith Lee effect. <laughs> Shout out to Keith Lee, bro. I, I told y'all, bro, I'm a big, I'm a Keith Lee fan. I am, bro. <laughs> I am. I ain't. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. What y'all be saying? Talk glazing, nigga. 
<laughs> Alex Earl is her name. Alex Earl. TikToker went viral for detail her spins with relatable topics like acne, breakups, and mental illness. Okay, I'll go check her out. I am big on mental illness. I don't, like, I don't know if y'all know, but like, I had a brother who committed suicide. I had a mental illness. My son was going through it. We got him. He good, though. But like, I, I really would check her out simply because of that and if she's making more awareness. Because mental illness is not something you can like just kind of put your finger on and diagnose. It is hard. So yeah, you yeah, I'll probably go check her out simply because of that statement, that little mental illness thing right there. Pokemon, I know who Pokemon is, but like I'm not, I don't, I've never, I don't think I've ever watched anything. Only reason I know who Pokemon is is because of other YouTubers, but I've never went to any of her streams or or her YouTube channel or anything to watch uh, her. So. Yeah, definitely in the black community motherfucker drag you out before helping. For sure. For sure. That's what yeah, that's for sure, bro. I be like I I really wish I had opportunities like the rest of these people cuz I you know, I I will make sure I invest in, and make sure I'm straight with my money, but I also would like to go back to my neighborhood and help. Matter of fact, I, if I could, I would like to go like start buying like my old block Cause it's not, it's my house is still there, but the rest of it, like you go down the street, you can't even go down the street because the vegetation then grew into the street. So like, as soon as you turn on my street, you see my old house and then you go up a little bit, the vegetation got all of that block. So you can't even get in there, but I would go back and start rebuilding like as much as that neighborhood as I can. It could, if I had the money, I'd do that. Alan Chicken Chow, never heard of him. Maybe you ran from the Cameo Mean Girls musical. School, high school comedy YouTube. Nope. Duke Dennis. Um, I know who Duke Dennis is. I watch uh I watch maybe a few videos here and there, but I haven't watched a lot of Duke Dennis, but um hmm. Okay. Yeah. But he got a platform TikTok though. His platform is YouTube, right? He got more he got more traction on TikTok then? Playing NBA 2K during his downtime in the Army, Duke Dennis didn't realize it could be a career, but soon the future mega creator found he could make money posting clips on YouTube. Now, Dennis 30 has his biggest following on TikTok where he can, oh, okay, where he, damn, tick, biggest following on TikTok where his charm with the ladies has made him an almost mythic figure for teenage boys. <laughs> he's still, he's, he's still, has millions of subscribers on YouTube though, where he posts videos of IRL street games in New York and hanging out behind the scenes at the Super Bowl. Okay, okay. Duke Dennis don't really be watched. He just popular as fuck. Yeah, that's what I was like. Like that's what I was saying. I was like, I don't really, I don't think anybody really watches anything of Duke Dennis. Like I'm pretty, yeah, pretty people watch, but it's like, like I said, it's he, he like they say he like a, he like. A, <laughs> they say he like a mythical figure. <laughs> hey, look, if you got it, bro, you got it, bro. If you got it, you got it. I ain't gonna lie, I got it, but I ain't start getting it until I hit my thirties, bro. That <laughs> I'm chilling, I'm locked, I'm, 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 I'm locked down. <laughs> Shit, so <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like what twenty? Let's see. Let me see. I'm 32. Let's see, 32. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to see 32. 31, 30, 25. All right, so at 29, bro, from 29 up to half of my 32, bro. <laughs> Good boy, I, I was. <laughs> Mythical figure, the craziest shit I ever heard. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said when I read it. I was like, Mythical figure, bro. That's why I was like, what? <laughs> chill. <laughs> chill. I was like, chill. But nah, like like I said, bro, once I, that 29 hit, it's like, bro, if you, I'm going to be honest, bro, like, like, I ain't the best looking motherfucker, but 
I've always been able to, you know, do my thing with some decent five, sixes, uh, decent sixes, sevens here, and sometimes I might get like a good eight point five. I ain't never had no nine, ten like that. But when I hit twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. What? I was like, what the fuck? This, where this come? You just know what to say, bro. You just know what to say, bro. Like, and I look back on that, like, why was I wilding like that? <laughs> you know, I just knew what to say, bro. Like, bro, I had to have a box of them condoms, cause like I just was wilding. Like, I knew what to do. Oh man, all right, man. We gonna move on. Nora Smith. I don't know who that is. I. Definitely don't. Mr. Beast. Okay. Mr. Beast number three. Mr. Beast been going through a lot lately, bro. Yeah, privacy. I don't know what that is. Mr. Beast been going through. He been going through it with whatever. Matter of fact, to be honest, if you make a proper, uh, let me see. Let me see. If you make a proper... If you make a proper video about Mr. Beast, even if, like, most of these people who are making these videos have actually worked with him, but if you can make a proper video about Mr. Beast it, it, for, like, a month or so, you can get these type of videos. And I was like, in my head, I thought about it, but then I was like, I'm not interested in trying to, like, literally destroy anyone because mr beast hasn't done anything it's the people around you that are that are that seeming to everything is seeming to come out about it's the people around him but it affects him in a major way um as far as i know like i said i i don't really get i didn't get deep into it i didn't i don't really care like you know what i'm saying like i like mr beast i watch him here and now he ain't never come to none of my streams when he started to blow up when I was streaming. Why you, you know, why you ain't come to my shit and give me like ten thousand dollars for blinking, nigga? <laughs> but um, yeah, it says three hundred mil subscribers, Mr. Beast. Like, is that total? He got more than that though, right? Where whether he's giving away houses, sponsoring surgeries, or making YouTube YouTubers fight one another for money, stunt creator Jimmy. Donaldson's known online as Mr. Beast continues to make his mark on internet history in July. The 26 year old became the first creator to cross 300 million subscribers. Oh, damn. Making his the most. Is that for like a human? Because I know somebody else was like, I don't know if it's a music channel. I don't know. Making his the most subscribed channel. He also inspired an entire genre of philanthropy. Con ah, ah. Well, philanthropic content, reality TV style videos centered around giving people large amounts of money and filming their reaction. People debate the e ethics and authenticity. Authenticity. I don't know why I'm like butchering my words, bro. Of maybe it's because I'm trying this new content of his high production charitable feat. His all-encompassing platform, the impact he's had on his North Carolina hometown. Are you from North Carolina? And the working conditions on his shoots, which are currently under scrutiny, but he intends to keep putting philanthropy first. People get mad and say, I shouldn't be doing this, and government should. He tweeted amid backlash of a recent study. Okay, I remember when that happened. Ideally, a YouTuber isn't the one fixing these Issues, but I'm not going to stand by and do nothing. Well, that's, you know, I'm, hey, if he, if it's his money, bro. It's his money. If he feel like going and doing it, it's his money. Yeah, the government should do it. But the the thing with, the thing with people these days, like, like, y'all remember, like, bro, they, 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 they flip that T over like 3% tax. But you got to understand about them. 
Most people read a lot. They knew a lot. They've been dumbing society down. Like, I don't, my son, bro, I don't think they gonna know a goddamn thing about the world when they, when he get, I try to teach him, but there's not so much I can do. They ain't gonna know a damn thing about the world when he gets older. But, um, we ignore the problems at hand as long as we can live comfortable. And the problem with doing that is you ignore the problem thinking that or hoping that it'll go away, but that's just not the case. So they're going to continue to do what they do, fill their pockets, send their kids to the best schools and stuff, and take vacations on your dime because you won't, matter of fact, you won't even vote. Y'all don't even y'all y'all only care about who's the president. Y'all don't care about none of these people who are judges, none of these people who are sheriffs, none of these people who are in these uh smaller roles that could uh in your city, your state. You need to start right there on um, doing that every two year election and stuff like that. And seeing who these people are in these places. Cause I remember uh uh, governor, when I was in Georgia, like I got all the I got bro. When I was in Georgia, though, I say this: I got all my uh uh COVID benefits, like bonuses, everything. And I was in Georgia, and I I was down here, and a lot of people didn't get none of it. And then if the business, like bro, you gotta put the right people. Don't worry about the president too, like your mayors, your governors, like. Make sure you know what, what their plans are for you, too. Keep them in check, too. So, yeah. That's my little rant on that. <laughs> uh, Rhett and Link. Are these the dudes that be, like, eating the weird shit before they were host of the Webby Award winning YouTube talk show Good Mythical Morning known for his wacky game show segment running around food? Okay, yeah, just do. Yeah, I watched them. Um... Uh, Hold on, so they got 18 million, they number two. Mr. Beast got 300 million, he's number three. How? I watched them, but um, I haven't watched them in a while. I don't know, it's been a couple months. I don't think it's been too long. And if it's, it depends, I don't know, because that I didn't even know who they were. Like, only reason I know who they are is because of their faces. I don't, I never knew their name. But I did watch them eat like Cheeto stuff and all that and whatnot. So that's the only reason why. I knew who that was, but dang, they number two. I like them, but I don't know if they number two to me though. But I do like them. Like I watch them here and there. But mm, I guess y'all let me know. All right, number one, Kasinat baby. Twitch Kasinat twenty two has continued to flex his influence since he started on Twitch in twenty twenty one, tracking millions of views. Popularizing the terms like Riz and Gap <laughs> and hosting stars such as Tyler, 21 Savage, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Hart on his channel where he splices his witty, chatty conversation amid hours of string video game. Let me tell you, I'll, I ain't never doing a 24 hour string. I'll string, but I ain't doing a 24 hour Depends on the money. I ain't gonna lie. While he currently has the most subscribers of any influencer on Twitch, he has a massive draw IRL to making headlines last year after he told his followers to come to Union Square in Manhattan for free PlayStation 5 consoles, prompting thousands of people to flood the park, resulting in several resulting in several injuries there. He was charged with inciting a riot, but the charges were dropped after he apologized and paid for the damage. Okay. Some accuse him of peddling mis <clears throat> misogynistic and homophobic humor for his core audience of teenage boys. That's what they do. What, what you mean? And and he's 22. He's fairly young when you think about it. He started this as a teenager. like, And that's who... Oh, man, I don't know, bro. I'm different. I'm 32, bro. I'm chilling. I know this humor because my son does it to me, so I know the humor. And I, I joke with him back a little bit, but it's not my thing. I get it. But that's what it's not misogyny. I don't I don't really think it's misogyny. I haven't seen him done anything misogynistic. 
I've seen him just talk to the, you know, he, you know, flirt. If you saying that's misogyny, is flirting misogynistic to y'all now? Like, is a dude like, is it that's is are we are we so far gone? Uh, are we so far gone that if you tell a woman she's pretty or beautiful, you're being misogynistic? Because you know they did a study where they're saying like a lot of like over 50, 60, whatever percent of men aren't approaching women anymore because um, fear of getting a case. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but his pull is undeniable. I can't get comfortable. He told Complex of his incredible following, but it feels good right now while I'm in the moment. Hey, man, ain't nothing wrong with that. So, I don't know. Did y'all, do y'all think this list is accurate? Cause that been number one? Yeah. I think so. I think there's, I think there's accurate as this can get with that. I think Kassanet that been number one. It's just, it's just undeniable. Kassanet is number one right now. I heard he lost the uh, streaming awards to somebody who most people don't know, but I was like, uh, don't listen. If he's if he's still doing the numbers and pulling it in, if he wins every year, I'm sorry, he wins every year. This is what it is. Fair is fair, right is right. If he's doing it, don't switch it up just so you can have a new name on there. Don't do that. You're gonna mess up your brand. And then like now, people probably don't even care for the brand because people are like, hold up, we don't know who this person is who just won over Casanet, and it should have been Casanet. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't do that. Like, if that if Cas listen. If Kasanet is the top streamer for 10 years and he I'm sorry, you just gotta give it to him. Don't switch it up just because you you tired of giving it to him. Just give it to him. Like, don't do that. Keep your brand integrity, bro. Like, don't don't do that. That's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it, for sure. I know, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how, <laughs> facts. You feel me, Doug? That, that's just how I feel. Like, if he's number, y'all know, y'all know, Casanet should have won this year, and that's just what it is. There's no beating around the bush. Casanet should have won this year. Whoever that person won, nobody knows who that person. Yeah, they got they all to know, but nobody knows who that is. If Casanet is number one, he's just number one. Keep some integrity on your platform, man. All right, we done with that, man. We about to get on some um, Black Milk Wukong real quick.